We invite you to watch the video on the Aquaculture Farm channel. Trawling is one of the most common methods of fishing. Trawl nets are designed to be towed by a boat through the water column, midwater trawl, or along the seafloor, bottom trawl. Trawl nets are shaped like a cone or funnel with a wide opening to catch fish or crustaceans and a narrow, closed cod end. Trawls can be used at various depths and nets differ by their mesh size. Both bottom and midwater trawls use otterboards slash trawl doors to keep the mouth of the net open. Bottom trawls, also known as demersal trawl, are used to catch fish and prawns that live on or near the sea floor. Bottom trawls use trawl boards slash doors made of timber or steel, to keep the mouth of the net open and on the bottom. Trawl nets are designed differently depending on whether the target species is fish or prawn. Fish trawls are towed as a single net over the back end of a boat. Some trawl boats have a ramp at the back of the boat to set and retrieve the net and others retrieve from the side. Fish trawls have long metal cables, called sweeps, connecting the trawl boards with the net which allow the boards to spread much further than the overall width of the net. The sweeps herd fish until they tire and drop back into the net where they are finally caught. Trawl nets have bobbins or rollers on the ground gear to allow the net to move over the sea floor without snagging and to minimize bottom contact. The sizes of trawl nets vary, however there are minimum mesh size restrictions in place for certain fisheries. Prawn trawls can be towed in multiples of two, three or four nets, with long arms, or booms, extending out from each side of the boat to allow the nets to fully open. Prawn trawl nets use ground chain for weight so it skims the seabed and encourages prawns living on the sea floor up into the trawl mouth. Sometimes, bottom trawling can catch unwanted species of fish or other sea creatures. This is known as bycatch and it is monitored by onboard fishery observers. Although it is not physically possible to trawl on reef structures, significant damage can occur if sensitive habitat areas like corals, sponges and seagrass beds are trawled.
To ensure these sensitive habitat areas are protected from trawling, management arrangements such as area closures are extensively used. Physical devices, such as excluder and bycatch reduction devices within trawl nets, are used by fishers to divert unwanted species out of the net. This is important as it allows small fish, larger animals and protected species to escape the net. AFMA's management of commercial trawl fisheries aims to ensure trawl fishing has the least impact possible on the environment. Come on. Let's out of here.